Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you to Let's Play Doom. Oh, oh man, I like this game. I like this game quite a bit. I uh, attempted to record this yesterday, but my uh, capture card flubbed up or something. I got a whole bunch of still images rather than a video, so that was a bit of a bummer. Given it another whirl, did a test recording on arcade mode. This game is already fun. It's like throwing a whole bunch of numbers at you and multipliers just makes it even more fun somehow. I like this game. <laughs> I usually uh, try to stave off the urge to play a game like with a, when a sequel is coming out. I try to resist the itch, so to speak. Oh no! But you, you will be worse. I uh, forgot to turn the volume on my TV down. I'm sorry about that. Um, for that first little bit of dialogue and maybe some of the music, there's probably a like half second delay on sound. There's like a ha probably a half second echo because of that or something. It's okay. Uh, I fixed it. At the very least, I probably won't get, um, have too much issues with, like, navigation. I like how we were trapped in like some kind of ancient sarcophagus. <laughs> we have to continue. And they're afraid of us, as they should be, because we are very angry. Yes. But like I was saying before the dialogue came on. Usually when a sequel, like Doom Eternal is coming out at the towards the end of March, and it is right now, like the end of January. So I've got like just a little bit over or just a little under two months till Usually I try to like stave off the itch because I'll sometimes when I play through the other games in a series when a new one is coming out and then I finally get the new one it'll be like oh man but I've been doing this a lot and now I don't feel like it <laughs> I don't think I'll have that problem with it Doom Eternal because oh man that game looks like it is going to be Welcome. I'm Dr. amazing I'm the head of this facility I think we can work together and resolve this resolve I love that he uh, just was like, no, I don't want. Um, yeah, there's codex entries for like, it tells you all the lore and gives you little blurbs about the weapons and monsters and such. I don't think I'm gonna bother like reading them out loud. What that's telling me there is uh, push in the right stick and you can trigger glory kills, which is one of my favorite things about this game. It is just so, so glorious, as the name would imply. Uh, oh yeah, I guess I missed one. Oops. Yeah, once you get a monster below or a demon below a certain health threshold, you uh can go in for the kill. Alright, this thing over here we're gonna take out because it'll spawn more of them if we don't. Bam. 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 Uh, glory kills also give you health back every time you do them. So, 
you start losing health, there's none of that manby pamby hide behind a box and hope that it regenerates thing. Regenerates before you die thing. You go and siphon your health out of the, you know, bodies of your opposition. <laughs> this is why I like this game more than like any other modern first person shooter. Call of Duties and the battlefields of the world pale in comparison. <laughs> At least in my humble opinion. I know they go for something a little different, and to Call of Duty's credit, you know, it feels like how a first-person shooter could. You know, except for this. This feels different, and I would much rather it feel like this, but... Um... I <laughs> punched him right in the face. Uh... <laughs> Sometimes he punches them so hard it looks like their neck snaps, other times he just punches their head clean off. <laughs> it is fantastic. Doom guy is a true hero. Uh, there's still one guy, no, a couple. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's one guy still trolling around here. The coolest thing about the glory kills is not only are a lot of them like enemy specific, but, uh, there's also, like, more than one variation that you can do. <laughs> like, depending on what angle you come at them from, like, dead on, off to the side, like, above them. It looks like you've done a pretty good job of that yourself, lady. I'm willing to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours, but you I like the way the camera panned down to a dead body when he said betterment of mankind. here gives us a map. Not exactly spec I'm not super fond of the map in this game. I don't know, I prefer maps to just kind of give me the information, not get all cute with their 3D projections and all that. But yeah, it will also tell you the other things here. Secrets and drones and elite guards to find, uh, your mission. There's a waypoint to point you in the general direction here. No fall damage because we don't suck. Um, we can pick up little codex entries and stuff <laughs> off of the ground when they pop up. I'm not gonna be like going for a hundred percent or anything with this game, but if I can, like, remember where certain things are, I'll try and find them. Go ahead and get that. So, as much as I may like this game, I won't claim to be, like, the best in the shooter department. This is, like, the only... This and Bioshock are, like, the only two first-person shooters in my life that I've really, like, enjoyed an overwhelming amount. I've kind of played other ones and they've been alright. 
I have a healthy respect for the original Modern Warfare. But that's about that's about it. I still hear things roaring, and I would appreciate if they would cease. Did I just did I just did I miss or did I like phase through it? Blue access door. Can't go through there yet because of that. Thankfully, they didn't manage to get very far. Yeah. Uh, there they are. Wearing their little blue equipment there. Open sesame. Oh yeah, grenades. Those are a thing in this game. <laughs> I don't find myself using them very often because they just don't cross my mind. But I'll throw one down there for demonstration's sake. I don't think I uh, hit anything with it. I really like the one where he grabs them by like their eye sockets and brings them, brings their face into his knee. That's a good one. Um, they're all good ones, but that one, of the ones that I've done so far, is one of my favorites. Don't worry, they get better though. They get way better. <laughs> it's <is> awesome. Oh yeah? Haha. <laughs> um. Oh, I gave me a grenade back. That was nice of them. And when he just like broke their jaw or something, that was pretty spectacular too. Broke their jaw and like their neck. Right. Well, I do need some ammo, so. thing over here, yeah. This is a little drone, gives us mods. Yeah. Gonna go with the explosive shot. The charged burst, like, you charge up a... Well, by shotgun standards, a rapid fire attack. I'm not a super big fan of that one because, well, I'll show it when I get it. But as opposed to the explosive shot here, I don't like it. Half of the reason shotguns in games end up being so satisfying is because there's a certain cadence to like when you shoot them. <laughs> it falls into a kind of rhythm when you're shooting it more than once at a time that I can really enjoy and, you know, adding a little rapid fire mod messes with that cadence, at least in my opinion. <laughs> That's a dumb reason to be like, oh, it shoots faster, I don't like it. <laughs> That's a really stupid criticism, honestly, but... I also just like the bigger boom. I feel like it works better. I feel myself uh, compelled to use it more often. Oh, I like that one a lot too. Just kick him into the ground and then kick him into the ground. Uh. I 
say. Don't you, don't you try and block me. Oh, where are you going? Oh, it is dead. It just kind of like stumbled. That was cool. It was like I uh, stopped it from pulling off its move. <laughs> or I like dodged it by attacking it there. That was neat. That one looked like he flew into me after I shot him, which was also kind of cool. Oh, where are you going? Oh, death via arm lossage. Okay, I heard I heard one more roar at me. Don't make me Don't make me find you. Oh. What do we got over here? Alright, we found a uh, tiny doom guy. It's one of the collectibles. You can uh look at them when we go back to the main menu. <clears throat> I don't think I found that one yesterday. I found the other one yesterday. Or maybe I found another one on a different mission. I don't remember. Specifically. Wait. That just dropped me off. I'm, I'm stupid. Um, Alright. There we go. Oh, well, that was why I was hearing the roaring. I'm stupid. I was just hearing the ones off in the distance. Music in this game. Oh, hey, it gave me some ammo back. Gotcha. chase this jerk down real quick. I hope that counted. It looked like it just kind of strolled on by me there. Oof. Oh, yes. <laughs> Ow. Should have, uh, I should have just shot at him while I was jumping. Now I don't know where it went off to. Yeah. Um, poor, poor form on my part there. Uh, where did they go though? <laughs> <laughs> there we are. Did, did something just explode or did like an enemy spawn in? I was not 100% clear on that. Oh yeah, I jumped down here and get this health. Oh, is that right? <laughs> All right, rip and tear complete at 19 minutes. Sweet. Took me like 23 minutes to do that yesterday. 
So I did manage to trim a little bit of the fat of figuring things out. That's nice. Alright. 